Hey guys, welcome to the Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try one of these pasta mills. It is all-in-one pasta mill. Uh, the particular type, it's a Casa Reche pasta in an Arabiata sauce with tomato and chili pepper. Ready to cook meal kit. It says it's new from Italy. Mix and cook. All you need is a plate and a fork. No water needed, which I think that's pretty cool. I think that it actually cooks in the sauce. The company itself is a Com Comparini is the actual company who makes it. No work, no stress, no mess. Uh, we bought these at World Market. They were $4.99 a piece, which is a little on the higher side, but we'll, we'll see what it's like. It's a pretty good sized meal though. It's 14.29 ounces or 405 grams. Um, not frozen, not free dried. These are shelf stable, to be honest with you. They just sit on the shelf. That's where you buy them at. So the, direct, the uh, calories, one whole package is 370 calories. I don't think that's bad. And here's the other information for you. So the brief directions are right there. Hey, you can cook in a microwave or a skillet, but if you actually want the directions, they're right here. So number one, we're gonna pour the sauce. I'm gonna do it in the microwave, of course. We could do it in a pan, but we don't do no stinking pans or ovens around here, but you can if you want to, but there's the directions if you like. We do the microwave. So we're gonna pour sauce and pasta into the microwave safe bowl. Make sure the sauce covers the pasta completely. So I'll probably stir it up a bit. Um, cook, um, cook it for seven minutes in a microwave equipped with a turntable dish, which mine is. Carefully remove the hot ball, hold it by the edges, and enjoy your meal. So, let's see what it looks like. Huh. Okay. You get a bowl. Um, looks like it's a, um, it's a liquid. Um, it looks like a there's your pasta, there's your sauce, and the bowl is like paper bowl, so it looks like it's compostable. I think it even said that somewhere in here. Um, pommel free, no, um, no, I don't know. It also comes with a wooden fork, which, you know, hey, I'll use it. So let's go with that, our pasta. I might need scissors, hold on. Just in case, I need scissors. Um, Sometimes I'll put a little tear tab somewhere. Yeah, there we go. So pour your pasta. And like I said, this this is a, a bag of like liquid. It's like water and stuff all in one. And it does have a little tab you grab and pull, so. Ooh, tomato saucy. Not to flick it. All right, here we go. You ready? Ooh, made a mess. I splashed over. It is very runny right now, and I did splash over a little bit, so I'll make sure I clean that up. But take your fork and make sure the pasta is all underneath there. And I'll get a paper towel to wipe my mess up, and I'll get it in this microwave for seven minutes, and uh, I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave and it didn't run over anything, so that's impressive. I'm just gonna stir it up just a little bit to let you see what it looks like. Um, it smells very good. It smells kind of sweet, but it, but it smells pretty good. Very tomato-y. Yeah. So I'm going to um, let this cool off for a minute, take it over the table, set my camera up, and I'll be back. Okay, I gave it just a minute to cool off because um, it is pretty hot. Fork works pretty good. You want to stab your um, if your pasta. There's don't really need a scoop because there's not a lot of like liquid tomato sauce in here. It's mostly just the pasta covered with sauce, which is good. I worry about the pasta being firm, but it's not. It's actually perfectly cooked. And I tell you what, that chili powder gives it a little bit of. Um, not burn, burn spice, but it is a little bit of a, of a spiciness to it, but it doesn't really, I guess if you couldn't handle any spice at all, you wouldn't like this, but if you don't mind just a little, you know, savory spice, I think you would like this. You might feel some tingle in your throat. I personally don't, but I can see where this flavor might add a little tingle if you're sensitive to it. I love the flavors of the tomato sauce itself, though. The pasta is good. Let me just talk about the pasta. The pasta's cooked well. It's a little firm, but it's not like hard. 
Um, it's firm but not chewy either. It's um, it's a good a good texture to it. It's got a good flavor to it. Um, but 90% of what your flavor is coming from is your sauce. I was worried the sauce was going to be a really sweet sauce, um, almost like a cheap like Chef Boyardee kind of sauce or something like that. It's not at all. It's a very good savory tomato sauce. It's got some really good spices in there. Some people, I mean, that does have a little sweetness to it, but it's not off-putting at all. Some people might still consider this pasta a little firm for them. Again, I like it, but if you don't like a firmer pasta, you'll, you won't like this pasta. It's, it's a firmer pasta. Um, the ingredients, let me comment on them. They're all really clean, pure ingredients. So number, the sauce, vegetable broth, um, which has water, carrots, onions, and celery. Um, tomato juice, sunflower seed oil, parsley, carrots, onion, salt, garlic, cornstarch, um, celery, chili pepper, um, black pepper, and lactic acid as a preservative just to keep it preserved in the pouch. And the pasta is just um, wheat flour and water. Um, it does contain wheat and it may contain traces of milk and anchovies from I'm not sure whatever sauce they're making. Um, I think this is a really good meal. I think it's a really good pasta meal. Um, you could definitely do this in a, I can't imagine doing this in a saucepan. I mean, it does say you can put it in a saucepan and cook it for like seven minutes as well. I guess you're just boiling it one way or the other, whether it's in the microwave or a pan, which is boiling. Um, but I think it's good. So like I said, the only complaint I might have is that some people may think the pasta is a little firm for you. It's good for me. I'm actually gonna give this a five out of five. I think the price is good. Um, it is $5, so it's on the higher end, but to be, um, for the flavors have such a, a well-balanced and, and rich flavor and the um you know it's fairly healthy too it's only 370 calories and everything else is pretty decent in there i think it's good what was the sodium on this i usually look at the sodium too when, when i'm looking at these um sodium 700 milligrams which is not i mean i've had much much i've had twice that much um so i think that's pretty good too so yeah if you're if you're thinking about you know you do amy's meals and stuff like that those are all kind of expensive so this is really good so five out of five for me Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.